Hello, uh, this is going to be more of a free form video just talking about what I've thought of the new Tom Hanks movie Greyhound. It's not going to be as well put together as my regular content, but I just wanted to shoot the shit about the movie really. Um, yeah, it was good. I mean, I'd give it like a 7, solid 7. It's decent. Um, some bits of it weren't as accurate as I thought they could have been. Like German U boats captain, uh, German U boat captain surfacing right in the middle of loads of ships and then just getting the shit shot out of them. Like, I don't want to spoil the movie, but like by talking about it, I have to spoil it. So it irked me a bit. Like, I know that you have to surface every now and then to recharge your batteries, but it just felt a bit weird that they would just like, they were surfacing to like taunt Tom Hanks. It was like, because this isn't like a traditional Second World War film, because it's set at sea, so you can't have like the German troops. You have to have like the face of the enemy. So when it surfaced, it, they could be like, "Ha ha, Tom, we can see you. Like, try and shoot us now." And he'd be like, "Shoot those goddamn U-boats!" Obviously, it's based on a book, so I haven't read the book yet because they're reprinting it, obviously, because of the movie. So yeah, I mean, it's worth a watch. Apple TV hard to get around. Um, luckily my wife had a subscription already. Um, Tom Hanks is always as good as ever. He, he just is like, even though admittedly he isn't doing, like it's not cruel sea levels of, God, these men are at sea, oh my God, they could be killed one minute, oh my God, they're like death charging their own men or fucking hell, like what now kind of thing. It was a very short, like sequence of events kind of thing. It felt very short in places. Like it was like, right, this has happened. Now this has happened. Oh my God, now this is happening. And, that ship there is like under attack. Now that ship's under attack. Oh god, there's a flare. It was like a lot going on. And I think in the cinema that would have been very overwhelming in a good way. But when you're watching it in your house with like a big bowl of popcorn in your like pajamas, it it doesn't have the same feel. I think in a cinema you would have had the effect of it. I felt like a very effect movie made it a certain way. It was made for the cinema. You can tell this is like Tom Hanks trying to kind of prove he can write a really atmospheric war movie um refreshing uh, in the kind of casting sense like it had one big name and it had stephen graham as the kind of secondary name but he was below decks like the whole movie so he was like the guy who was like you boats have a starboard bow you know like he was kind of like there's a u-boat out there captain you know it was kind of like tom hanks is like brain could have done with some more character development i know that in the book and um, C.S. Forrester's work, he likes to get in the heads of people that have very kind of ambiguous moral codes. You know, they're going to do things that aren't going to be seen as good or bad kind of by the reader or the viewer. So Tom Hanks had like decisions to make, like, does he go and help that boat? But if he doesn't help that boat, then that other boat might need more help. But you don't really ever get to think more of more about it than a kind of surface level with the, with the with speed of the movie. It could have been done lowering back a bit in places and then really hammering home other parts obviously i don't want to get too involved in the plot i mean when i say plot there's not much plot it the, the movie says it in white text it goes there's a convoy they're going from here to here they've got three days of no air cover and then they'll have air cover and they'll be able to get more safely into liverpool harbour that's literally the plot of the entire film and it's refreshing that a war movie in a sense has a plot that is accurate you know, like, these guys were ferrying stuff over overseas every week, every day of their lives, you know, while they were serving in the Navy. So it's nice to just see A to B kind of plot rather than, like, oh, there's the captain and then there's this other guy and he's got his own story. It was nice just to have, here's this one dude and here's this one dude's whole kind of view of the, his part of the war, which is nice. Kind of like how Banner Brothers did it where every single episode kind of focused on a different guy. Viewers of the channel will know The Cruel Sea is one of my favourite films. Um, so to see a kind of American Cruel Sea, but like Tom Hanks being like 10 times the star pulling power that any of those guys in The Cruel Sea kind of had, is kind of interesting. I think if it had come out in the cinema, I think people would have kind of been a bit more war. This is like really atmospheric, but the reviews say like, oh, it's missing something. And I think the thing it is missing is that it's not in a cinema. And Tom Hanks has said this week that he really regrets that it couldn't be like put in a cinema. So I think he felt like he made it for cinema viewing 
so it's a shame time will tell but yeah if you've got apple tv check it out if you want to kind of use those skeevy streaming websites that's on you but i'm not going to say you can't um but yeah thanks for watching my content and videos and stuff over the last few weeks it's been really nice to see um just hope you enjoy what i'm doing and if you do hit like and stuff don't want to say all that cliche stuff um anyway but cheers